There was a time when bulking up and being a little Neanderthal was all the rage for men. Times are changing, though. These days, more men, especially in Korea, allocate a greater amount of time and energy staying stylish, be it fashion or cosmetics. For our news features tonight, Kim hye zooms in on the trend that goes against conventional ideas of masculinity. Filling in eyebrows, applying foundation and concealers, then contouring the nose and jawline for a sharper look. It's male beauty creator Kim Gi Soo's makeup tutorial with close to 120,000 subscribers. Kim says when he first launched the video last November, almost 100% of his followers were women. But now more than 30% are men. Many male followers message me, asking which products I use and how to apply them. For instance, questions like how can I not make the foundation look too thick, how to shape eyebrows. All these reactions unimaginable just several years back show how there are quite a lot of Korean men who are interested in putting on makeup. While not going as far as wearing full makeup, putting on basic makeup like BB cream and concealer is becoming more common for men in Korea. 27-year-old Im Tae-hyun is one of them. He says applying makeup is a must before heading out. I put on makeup to look sharper, cover my blemishes and thicken my eyebrows. It boosts my confidence. And in fact, people don't even realize that I'm wearing makeup because it looks natural, so I like it. According to a survey by research firm Inner Fashion Planning, out of the Korea men who bought cosmetics at drugstores last year, 39 percent wear makeup for confidence and 32 percent do it to have a competitive edge, meaning more than 70 percent wear makeup for a better appearance. In fact, Korean men are the world's top per capita consumers of cosmetic products. With nearly four times the purchases of runner-up Denmark, Koreans make up a fifth of worldwide sales. As demand for male grooming products continues to grow in Korea, cosmetic brands are further diversifying their product lineup, introducing men-only cosmetics ranging from toners and moisturizer to eye cream. But the long list of cosmetics on offer could be somewhat foreign for men, creating a demand for so-called male beauty directors. Men are interested in looking good. It's not a desire limited to women. But men could still feel uncomfortable or somewhat shy asking women how to use items X, Y, and Z. So male to male, we provide them with consulting, look at their skin type, recommend items to them, and tell them the step-by-step -step process. I think the culture is changing. Male products used to be mainly skincare products, but now the spectrum of items is widening to BB cream, facial masks, and lip gloss. With both demand and supply in the male grooming industry growing, the market is set for near double digit growth every year and could be worth 1.5 billion US dollars by 2020. This rapid growth comes not only because more Korean men want to look clean-cut, but also because of society's changing perceptions. I think it's fine for men to invest money and time to take care of the way they look, as long as it looks natural. Times have changed, appearance is an asset. I put on skin care and eye cream myself. Wearing makeup to look more attractive, I think that's fine. It's an individual's choice. The traditional clear gender roles are changing in Korea and more young people these days want individualism and freedom. So society is more accepting of men putting on makeup. At the same time, it reflects how competitive the job market is, with men pressured to look fit and clean cut. On top of having a good education and interpersonal skills to get a good job these days. Self-satisfaction, the cosmetic industry's market strategies, fierce competition, for various reasons a growing number of Korean men are wearing makeup, and this trend is likely to continue as social perceptions of male grooming evolve. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.